Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to focus on the reinforcement concrete or RCC. So, how we can define this RCC, which is known as the reinforced cement concrete. We are going to explain this topic today in more detail. So, basically, we have concrete material which is the world most used building material which is composed of the cement which is composed of the cement sand we call it fine aggregate we have gravel which is coarse aggregate and water and also some kind of admixtures in order to enhance the strength or to increase the workability of the concrete so there are some advantages and disadvantages of the concrete of being a construction material. So the main advantage of the concrete is that it is high compressive strength. That concrete is high compressive strength. It is the basic or the main advantage of this material. But on the other hand, we have disadvantage of this material that it is low tensile strength low tensile strength now what happens if I consider a beam here for example this is a beam which is made of the concrete and we provided here two supports and there is a uniformly load acting on this beam so what happens when the load acts on this beam of W the beam will try to deflect it will show some deflection like in this way So the beam is deflected now, so if I draw the deflected shape here, it will look like this. So at the top, we have compression. The compression stresses appear at the top, represented by C, while at the bottom, we have some tension. You also see here, we have some tension. You also see here that the bottom the bottom fibers of the beam has been extended as compared to the top where the top is contracted so at the top we have compression and at the bottom we have tension and as we know that the one of the disadvantage of the concrete is that it has low tensile strength so what happens because of this tension here at acting on this beam at the lower part so we will have some cracks appear at these parts some cracks so due to which our beam is not going to take more load because of the cracks it, these cracks will develop will develop and will go to the compression zone and finally we will have some uh, we will some failure of this beam at the tension part because of the low tensile strength of the concrete we have early failure of the concrete now what we do here if this I consider the beam again here this is the beam and this is the supports provided to the beam so what we do now here we provide a steel bar here a reinforcement and this steel bar is provided in order to enhance the tensile strength of the concrete or we can say the tensile strength of the whole beam this steel bar is responsible for the tension part now so now when the load is acting on this beam if I consider again now in the uniformly distributed load is acting on this beam so now because of this steel bar of this reinforcement it will take the tension and the on the top you have compression so the compression will be taken by the concrete which we mentioned before that one of the advantage of the concrete is that it is high compressive strength so they can take the compressive strength very good so now this beam if I consider this beam so how this beam will be deflected so upon loading it will deflect like in this way but here in this case now due to the tension the steel bar is provided here so this this steel bar is subjected now to tension this is a steel bar so this steel bar is now subjected to tension and the steel bar the advantage of the steel bar is that steel bar has high tensile strength and at the top we have compression here we have tension 
and at the top we have compression. So at the top we have concrete and we say that the concrete has high compressive strength so we don't need to provide any, any other material in order to enhance the compressive capacity of the beam. So at the top concrete is responsible to take the, if I draw the cross section here, it will look like this. So at the top compression zone, at the bottom we have tension zone and for tension we have the reinforcement. This is a tension zone, this is compression, this is tension. So for tension we provide the reinforcement and for compression we have the concrete itself. So now coming again back to the RCC which is known as the reinforced cement concrete. Cement concrete is clear to us that it is a member in a member that is made of the cement concrete. But reinforce means Reinforce, if we look into the dictionary, the reinforce means enhancement. Enhancement of anything. So here in this case, we enhance the tensile capacity of the cement concrete structure with the help of the reinforcement. So reinforced cement concrete means that we increase the capacity, the tensile capacity of the structure member with the help of the providing the reinforcement bar, which are the steel bars. Hope you guys understand that why it is called RCC because we increase the, we enhance or reinforce the concrete tensile capacity with the help of the reinforcement bar. So this was all about today and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.